Okay, um, welcome to another very exciting thing. Uh, we've got this wind goo bike in. Uh, what happens is, it's got a battery problem. Turn it on, see the power meter there. If I press the throttle a bit, oh, which of course you can't do without the wheel spinning. If I get the wheel spinning. There it goes, all that's good. There's that. If I put the wheel down, it, uh, the battery drops like that to the point where it doesn't work and uh, just turns off. So, what we've got is oh, me, a replacement battery back here that's just straight from Wingo. It's probably, as the original one that came in it, not very good. However, uh, is what it is. Custom ones are just the cheap ones, so from Wingoot they are, I think, about 100 quid, something like that. It's got a bit of double sided Eva foam on the back. I'm assuming that's to stick it back in. I haven't done one of these before, so we're going to learn together. Uh, I see one, two, three, four, five, six screws and little screw pegs on the side of this. I'm guessing they've got to come out, probably Phillips head screws underneath it. Um, so let's take it apart and see what we find inside and how difficult the battery is to replace. The crank might have to come off, I don't know yet. Um, ideally I'll do it without taking the crank off. Hopefully this, these screws hold in the case from the other side. Uh, I don't know where the line is actually. Uh, halfway down the middle, so we shall see. So to get these rubber plugs out I just use a pick. You can kind of just stab it in there a bit, pulls it straight out. He says, the first one was so easy. There it goes. There's one, two, three, four. The fifth one here behind the crank. You turn the crank, you can see it. Five, and I think there's a sixth one right down here in this corner. Just there. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be a Phillips head of some kind in there. It is. Okay, they're probably going to be six of those little guys. Two. Three. Well, that one snapped off. Four. Five. How are we going to get to number six? Three. Lovely. Now, what side comes off? I'm guessing this side stays and the far side comes off. They bolted in from the bottom, I wonder. Are there screws underneath? I think there might be. Let's get this upside down. Have a look. I picked the bin up. Yep, there are. Underneath some very rusty screws. There are one, two, three, four there. Now, I'd quite like to take off this side. Not that side, not the far side, so I think I'll just undo these two screws, or more than likely snap the heads off those two screws. Probably what's going to happen here. Wow, incredibly, it came out, so it's a threaded screw, with bolt really, I suppose, with a very unhappy Phillips head. And the other side. That hopefully then this side will pop out. It's not held in by the beads. It's what we what we want. Just pry that off. Feels kind of attached still, doesn't it? Ah, there's another screw on the uh, of these round ones along here. It was hiding. 
or I already knew it was there and I just missed it. One of the two. And this one, you can't quite get to. Of course. Cranks. Just in the way. Here we go. That feels quite loose now, doesn't it? Oh look, and there we go. There it is. All the electronics. The old battery pack. Controller. That's the cable for that. Cable for the battery. Get this one off. That's one. That's two, so the charge port and then the power. It's the uh, sticky foam on the back. <sighs> That's attached. It's not going to come off. Watch it go flying. God! These things are good foam. Uh, where is the world's largest screwdriver? Obviously, never use a metal implement on a battery. This is made out of a high-tech, next-level ceramic that uh, NASA haven't released yet. And it could absolutely never conduct any electricity at all. Ah, there it goes. Whoa. The other way to remove a really stuck battery is to cut the heat shrink. Then you can pull the actual battery out and leave the heat shrink stuck to whatever it's stuck to. Um, but yeah, there goes that. Old one out. There's our snapped off screw. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks fine in here. Everything's all cable tied up. Connections have silicon all around the outside of it. Some of them have like a nasty bleh, yellow silicon. Should be fine. And then we're going to want to stick that on there. It will involve scraping all this off, so I will cut back in once I've removed all that. All right, I found, um, I just took the two screws out of the controller. Way easier to work on that when I could put it on the floor and scrape away at it. And uh, pretty much all removed now. Um, new battery pack, just wants to go in. So we'll peel off the foam, or the sticky layer of the foam, we'll stick that on in there, that's all attached now, get the controller put back into place, which is one screw on this tab here, one screw at the other end. Now it is a plastic tab on the other end, so I don't know quite what that means in terms of what it can withstand, but just so we're aware, oh, and you'd have to get it lined up before you start screwing it on. Might help quite a bit. Let's try that again. Get that out of the way. Screw stuck on the end of there. This is the time when you really wish you had an extra set of hands. I rather don't, so I'll just suffer. There he goes. Just one screw in. Get the other side sorted. There it goes. So Plug the charge port in, making it look really easy, aren't I? That all lines up nicely. Get the power port, power cable to the controller plugged in. This might will probably make a little pop when we plug it in because it's 
Oh, oh, charging up the capacitors in the controller. Shuffle in there. That can live up there actually. That one. Cycle that one. A little bit. And all those wires that were kind of just crushed in there can get squished back into place. And something like that. Two cables come out of a gap and those ones sit there. Will it all go back on nicely? Probably not. Will I struggle for half an hour? Probably. Oh. Actually, not too bad. Now there'll be a lot of lining up for me to do. I'm not going to bore anybody with that uh, because no one wants to see that. But got to get it all put back together. How it came apart. Oh, kind of like that actually. Nice. Um, once that's done, you should be. Good to go. I'm going to get a couple of these screws put back in and then let's test it out. The other's going from the other side. That should be enough to test it anyway. Ah. On. does seem to be working better anyway already so if we get the pedal spinning spin the throttle the pedals of death start whirling which is really good fun I'm going to put that down on the ground put it under a bit of load it actually moves quite a bit under its own power and that's not immediately dropping all the way down to one bar, which is a stop. I'll get it charged up and uh, should be good to go. Thanks very much. Obviously, the rest of the screws have to go in, but yeah. Cheers.